it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is go with your clients when they're meeting with unfamiliar vendors. So what happened this time is I had a bride who wanted a bridal portrait about six weeks beforehand. She thought that she wasn't gonna do a bridal portrait and she hired a photographer that I was unfamiliar with. I had not worked with them before, but that's fine. As long as she was comfortable, I trusted her and I trusted them. Well, because it was such last minute, she, and really her mom talked her into doing it anyway, the photography team she had hired, only one of them was avail available, which happened to be a male. And so when she set the date, I was unavailable to go and help her. And after the fact, I found out her mother wasn't available, her maid of honor, no bridesmaids, no one was available to go with her on this day that she chose to have her bridal portraits made. So it was just her and the male photographer, which I'm sure was a little bit uncomfortable, but all based on your personality and how you handle things could be great or not so great. So in this situation, it wasn't so great. So after the bridal portrait, she called me crying her eyes out, telling me that she had a horrible experience, that he made some really obscene comments and she was uncomfortable and didn't want to use them anymore and wanted me to find somebody else to shoot her wedding. And I'm thinking, it's Mother's Day weekend, it's in six weeks, it's kind of a holiday, and I can't just call somebody up that I know that I think is good, and they're gonna be available. Because we all know that most people book these photographers at least a year in advance. But I happened to have a networking meeting that night. And I was asking any photographer that I knew that came in the door, hey, are you available, are you available? So one of the male photographers said, I actually had a cancellation today, so I am available. Now, his prices were a little bit more than what the bride could afford, but we were able to work something out. He was able to shoot the wedding, and she loved the pictures, so that was the great result. But the bad part is I had to go back to the other photographer and let them know, hey, my client had an uncomfortable encounter with the male photographer, which by the way happened to be the husband of the wife photographer, and that was uncomfortable and they don't want to work with you guys anymore, and I'm so sorry. And so the way that they personally attacked me verbally as if it were my fault was really unprofessional, and it was really uncomfortable. And so again, I feel that if I had been available to go with my client, I could have avoided this ugly run-in. So be sure that if you don't know your vendors and you're not comfortable with them, go with your client to make sure they have a good experience. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.